Uh, this is the fourth part of our tutorial where we're making uh, an interactive web application. And in this part, uh, we'll be dealing with shadows. So our model uh, is currently like uh, hanging in uh, space. So let's sneak peek. And uh, so there's no floor, there's no shadows. So we want it to, to be standing on the floor. We also want the nice stand to cast shadows to the floor. And finally, we want to cover the background with something like uh, more pleasant. So this is when our sphere model comes in handy. So let's make it renderable and unhide it. And check how it looks. All right, so how do we make the shadows? So first of all, uh, go to the render tab, render tab, and enable shadows. So if we try to the sneak peek now, we won't uh, actually notice them. Uh, this is because uh, the sphere also casts shadows, and uh, now everything is in shadow. So. We, we need to disable shadows for the sphere and we can do this in the object settings. So go to object and disable this shadow casting setting. Right now, check it again and see that shadows started to cast. Okay, close this uh, intermediate results and let's continue with the shadows. Uh, so uh, let's start by uh, going to the lamp settings and uh, uh, tweak some verse 3D settings. Uh, actually, uh, not verse 3D, but uh, um, okay, we actually have to go to the data tab for our lamp in order to be able to tweak uh, the shadow settings. So, uh, and let's start by setting the end for our shadow volume to some number which is uh, less than the current default value. This is because the less shadow volume is, uh, the better the quality of the shadows. So our scene is rather small, so I think 10 units will be all right for the shadow volume. Uh, uh, let's also... Uh, tweak the softness because uh, the default value causes this, uh, the shadows to be uh, like a duplicate or like multi multiple, or render it in multiple. So we want, don't want such a softness. So let's uh, make it uh, less or just one, for example. And uh, let's get check it. So yeah, it is more correct now. And uh, what we want to do next is to uh, you see here we got some artifacts that are, um, are make our picture not uh, so clean uh, as we want it so let's get rid of these artifacts by tweaking the bias 
and uh, you can tweak the bias I already made some experiments so I found that bias 4 will work the best in this scene so if we run it again we see that the shadows are now much more cleaner and um, uh, finally uh, let's make uh, the lamp intensity uh, a bit higher so let's change uh, its energy to say uh, again I did some experiments to say uh, 1.7 in order to for our shadows to be more um, distinct and uh, our contrast right so that's all with the shadows uh, let's uh, continue uh, our improvements in, in the next parts